So friends, welcome back to our channel Learn with Gigs. I am back with another video where I will be covering some questions which can be asked to you on total year to date and dates year to date functions as these can be used simultaneously. So that's why interviewer try to make you confused on these two functions. Okay, so let's proceed with those questions. Okay, and before that, if you are new to the channel, please subscribe it and, and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all the coming videos as I can assure you, you will not find these kind of videos that I upload here on this channel anywhere else on YouTube. Okay, so let's start with the questions. So first question that can be asked to you on this total year to date and dates year to date function is that how will you differentiate with the, between these two because they are somehow uh, somehow used together. Okay, so let us first see what is the difference between these two and many of you might be knowing the answer before and also but then also to all those people who don't know let us see the answer for this so for that i have already uh, opened the microsoft documentation for this so total year to date function so it evaluates the year to date value of the expression in the current context okay and it takes two arguments expression and dates column okay so which is compulsory part now what it does it, it evaluate whatever expression you give it will it evaluate up to the current date okay this is what total year to date function do and let's proceed with the dates year to date function so it returns a table it does not return a value it returns a table of a column of dates for year to date so whatever is the date so it will uh, display the number of dates from the starting of that year to the current date okay in the current context okay and it takes one argument which is compulsory part that is the dates column okay so this is how you can differentiate between these two okay so for the next question they will ask you uh, can you use dates year to date function within total year to date function okay so how will you answer this so uh, to understand this let us first uh, calculate or create a measure using total year to date function and let us see what all things we can we have to put it in the arguments part okay so for that uh, I will make use, make use of the sales sample for table. Okay, so it's a simple uh, sales table where we have uh, different products, their order dates, their sales value, their region and their country. Okay, now what I will do, I will create a measure over here and I will create total year to date measure. Okay. So let's do that. I will name it as total year to date value okay so i will make use of total year to date function here okay total year to date function the expression will be the total sales which i have already created as a measure here as you can see total sales which is, which is simply the sum of sales of sales value okay and then i will i have to put another argument which is a compulsory part of total year to date function so what 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 i will put here pull here so as you would have seen from the from this uh, uh, Microsoft documentation, it will uh, take the dates okay as the second argument. Okay, so for that, what we can do, we can make use of this calendar table that we have in this. Okay, and we can make use of uh, calendar date here. Okay, so calendar date. Let's close the bracket for total year to date function. So right now the question is not answered. Okay, that interviewer has asked you, can you use dates? Uh, year to date function within this total uh, year to date function so right now i have not used that i have just used the simple date column from the calendar table and let's see what does the result comes out to be so let me see the value what is the value so the value is 3315 now let us modify that measure and now let us make use of dates year to date here okay so i will make use of this dates year to date and it it should take a dates column here so now i will make use of date column of calendar date calendar table okay so i have made use of that and let us close the bracket for total year to date now let's see what does the answer come earlier it was 3315 now as you can see on the screen again the value has come to as 3315 okay so you can say that dates year to date function can be used inside total year to date function that will give the same result as what was simple uh, date column of calendar table was giving so both the things you can do here right so that answers the second part now the third part will that they can ask you is that 
how will you uh, calculate uh, the year to date value with dates year to date function specifically and without using total year to date function how will you do that using dates year to date function okay so for that what you have to do we have to create another measure and we have to make use of um, of another function okay and function is what we will be discussing right now so i will create one measure here okay so that measure i will uh, name it as total year to date using using calc because we will be using calculate function here calculate the total sales the expression that i have already created total sales where the filter should be dates year to date dates year to date date column will be from calendar table so we'll make use of that close the bracket close the bracket of calculate and let's see what does the result comes out of this measure so it should return me 3315 only if 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 our logic is correct and that is what you have to answer it to the interviewer so let us see what does the value comes out to be let me put in card so see this measure total iterated using calc again we have got the same result 3315 so that so without using total year to date function also we are able to calculate the total year to date value using dates year to date and calculate the combination of both right so this is how you have to answer i have covered all the three questions which can be asked on this right and i hope you got the explanation so please share it with all your friends and colleagues whoever are preparing or for the interviews or will be preparing for the interviews as it can be very helpful for all of them so stay tuned for the upcoming videos thank you